about it. It's such an amazing song. It's very, it's very wistful. Um, very melancholic, I find. Uh, Duskull can also be a bit of an annoyance just because it goes through walls. I think it has a move. Uh, it might, I don't think it has spite, but I think it has a move that's not fun to deal with. It wants to join me, so no. This part of the song, especially, is very wistful. Maybe that's why I feel so nostalgic towards it. Or one of the reasons, at least. I'm lucky that wasn't a monster house, but even luckier, here they are, the x-ray specs, which I, you can see me freaking out in the menus. I'm going, yes, finally. Look at that. I can see where all the items are, where all the enemies are. I can't see where the stairs are, but who cares? It's just, it's amazing. It's so good. And in the remake, you start off with this item, or you just permanently have it equipped. Um as its own thing, you just are able to have it, which seems broken to me, because it's just you can always tell where a monster house is, but alright. So as you can see, I'm just ignoring uh, anything, especially on this floor. The hell with that, and going straight for the stairs. <laughs> I just look, boom, I can see where that enemy is. See another enemy just appeared there. Um, tell where any items are. It's a Ledian. <laughs> Ledian isn't much of a challenge because it's Ledian. Um, and it doesn't have any moves that are painful to deal with, so. Uh, is it foggy? I think it's foggy. I didn't really catch what the weather was. Alright. Uh, there's, yeah, there's coffees here, instead of wheezings, which is strange, but okay. But uh, yeah, so far we're actually getting through the dungeon pretty nicely, not doing too bad. Uh, there were a few failed attempts, uh, if you noticed at the beginning of when we hopped into the dungeon for the first time. Uh, there was a cut there, because there was a few failed attempts where I ran into monster houses on like the second floor and got spited a bunch of times by uh, Spot. Whatever, I got spite used on me a bunch of times, so I just figured whatever, I'll just restart because I'm so close to the beginning. A few monster houses that waste seed away, reviver seeds, which suck. So actually this whole time I was going through the dungeon I was just praying for no monster houses. Um, which was much easier now that we have the X-ray specs, but, you know, if you get, if you open a floor on or in the monster house, that's, you know, not much you can do about that. That just sucks to deal with. Oh, that's what I was afraid of, Duskull, of this Nightshade, which will always hit for the, um, an amount of damage that, uh, Duskull's level is. So, for example, this one is level 27, so it will always do 27 damage. And it has uh, Confuse Ray, which isn't fun. So. There is, there is quite an ounce of sadness that I feel when I listen to this song. And I can't exactly put my finger on why. But, uh, yeah, Duskull is, you know, take care of it quickly, but don't worry about it too much. Um, it's not, it's not Shuppet, it's not Shedinja. That's super useful, being able to see, you know, when you're healing, where all the enemies are. I didn't even go for that band, because it's just, who cares, I've got the x-ray specs, what's the point? And Henry doesn't really need anything else but the, uh, the special band, because that'll, that'll do just fine. As long as he's got that and Bullet Seed, we're, we're good to go. 
Sizzle isn't too much of a problem. Um, yeah, really isn't that much of a problem. Because I keep thinking it's Sizzle, which should probably be much more of a threat, but no, it's not really. Um, but there are all sorts of weather types in this uh, dungeon. There's sun, there's fog, there's rain, there's uh, hail, as we're seeing here. I don't think it's... it might snow. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think it'll... there'll be a sandstorm. Uh, I really doubt that. There's link boxes. <laughs> I'm lucky this wasn't a monster house. There are three items. Four items, I think. Did I pick up money? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, Sizzle can use agility, that's right. So, uh, be careful, because it can go to triple speed if it wants, so. That's what happens. Yeah, that's right, I remember now. Okay, so in one of the monster houses, I think I was like 10 floors in, so it was super annoying. Um, I ran into a monster house and a bunch of Alteria came in, and I thought, alright, well, I have Ice Beam, so I can take care of them pretty decently. Wrong, because there are about eight of them, and they all used agility twice, they were all at triple speed, and they were just absolutely destroying us, and we died, so... That sucked. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... Careful. <laughs> Agility is certainly not something to mess around with. When the enemy has them, at least. Dusclops. I uh, don't remember you being that much different from Duskull uh, in terms of abilities. So, you know, as per usual, be cautious. Oh, you have pressure, though, so that's not fun to deal with. Uh, Pressure, it's just like what the bosses generally have, where you uh, lose 2 PP instead of 1 um, whenever you use a move on them. Which uh, is just a little uncomfortable. It's uh, nothing you can't deal with. Can I go back and eat that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, it's an apple. Just a free apple, so. Alteria, at this stage, I was a little cautious of because of the monster house that I mentioned earlier. Um, but I still thought, eh, uh, you know, I could probably deal with one just fine. It's not like Shuffle it where it's just avoid at all costs. Uh, avoid at all costs. I actually got a little nervous there because there are only two items which shouldn't qualify for a monster house, but you know. I can sometimes feel like it. Th those three items up there may be a monster house. So, yeah. If you see four or more items in a room, then that's like a, almost a complete guarantee that that's a. That's a monster house, so don't, don't <laughs> enter a room that's like that, because, you know, that's just a monster house. That's gotta be a monster house. TMs here aren't fantastic, they're just sort of average. But here I have to step into the room because there's no other way to go. <laughs> you can see me hesitating there because I was like, this is a monster house, isn't it? So I was lucky it wasn't self-cure, that's pretty good. Makes it so we uh, cure from status conditions uh, faster than normal. Return, it's okay. I guess I'd pick it up anyway. I don't know, the power rise with the IQ instead of a friendship value like in mainline. On to the 20th floor. I saw those sizzles and I went, yeah, I'd rather not deal with them. What was it? Oh, okay, Venomoth is another one, uh, which is actually pretty dangerous. I got pretty lucky with it. Um, 
on this run through, but uh, Venomoth has um, uh, Ominous Wind, which can hit uh, everyone in the on the floor. I think something ridiculous like that um, for decent damage, and it's like a uh, Ancient Power where it has the uh, potential to uh, raise all of its stats by one stage. So yeah. Which means it, c it can get to double speed, which means it can potentially use Ominous Wind more often, and potentially get to triple speed. I don't... I don't I'm, I'm not sure if quadruple speed is in this game or not, but uh, it might be, I'm not sure. Cloudy weather here. I really do love uh, cloud levels in games. They're not very really common, they're mostly a Nintendo thing, but uh, they're super, super cool. Because it's just like, you know, a world on the clouds. Like, if you, have you ever looked up in the sky, especially when you're a kid, and you look at the clouds, and like they make these really cool shapes, and you think, wow, what if you could walk on those, and what if there were, you know, animals or people or what have you on them right now? How good would that be? Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is another, another worry. So Aerodactyl um, has Ancient Power and Agility um, and Pressure. So yeah, don't and they he hits really hard. Aerodactyls hit really hard. Um, so don't mess around with them at all. Take them out as soon as you can. That maybe that's another reason why I feel super nostalgic towards uh, Sky Tower. It's just the concept of, you know, looking up at the clouds and thinking, you know, what if what if we could go up there and we could walk on the clouds and be in these super cool places. See everything from up above, you know? Um, which I used to I used to think about that a lot when I was much younger. So yeah, that's maybe that's another reason why I'm super nostalgic towards Sky Tower. <laughs> but I'll be honest, the, the song is like 90% of the reason. Um, but, uh, we are uh, getting close to the rest point here. Getting pretty close, so. I actually wasn't very lucky uh, in terms of stairs, or the placement of stairs when I was going up floors uh, during this run. Because generally the stairs were, you know, not around, or not close to where I was. Uh, I want to get off this floor immediately because one, there's an Aerodactyl. Uh, two, because water type moves have been weakened thanks to the the sun. What was another game that did something like that? I think it was the yeah, it was the Skylanders games, which I haven't played in quite a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't mind them. The Skylanders games weren't too bad. Um, I know, obviously, people were very bummed about it not being Spyro. Myself included, I, I don't mind Spyro games. So I'm a very, very, very casual fan of them, but I do like them. Um, but, uh, another Aerodactyl. <laughs> um, but Skylands itself, eh, you know, I, I, I liked, but yeah, that's what I was thinking of, where uh, Skylanders will, yeah, okay, here's what Aerodactyl will do, get to triple speed as soon as it can, um, which means it goes three times as much as you do. Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was the Skylanders games where it would go certain areas, uh, different elements are stronger than others, and it's weird. Um, so yeah, that's right. And there we go. That's that's the uh, first first part of it. I, hes I hesitate to say first half because it's not really a half. We've done most of the dungeon at this point. There's only nine more floors to go, so and on the ninth one is the final boss. So. 
double save. <laughs> it's that it's that it's that point of the game, so. Alright, so unfortunately we don't get to hear Sky Tower's theme anymore. But we get to hear Sky Tower Summit, which is sort of like it's it's a pretty decent song. I don't even go for that TM. I saw that Salamence so uh uh. Salamence isn't too bad. Um I'd much rather deal with it than a Shuppet or an Aerodactyl. Um, this song, well, the first Sky Tower theme I, I sort of see is, you know, when we're back in Pokemon Square, we're all we're super motivated to get it done, you know, and we're feeling very adventurous. Um, Flygon isn't too bad to deal with, really, about the same as Salamence. Um, and, you know, um, and we've been going for such a long time in the dungeon. And I guess at this point, uh, you know, our characters, this, this is reflected in the song, um, in the tone of the song where it's, where the characters sort of like, okay. So, we're getting close, but we're, we're a little exhausted at this point, and things are getting a little more serious. Um, so let's stay on our toes. Uh, ironically, I actually, uh, I was gonna, hmm, I don't know if I find this part of the dungeon harder or easier than the um, first part. It's certainly tense, <laughs> that's for sure. It's very tense, like, with two Metagross here, and, you know, they're not super easy to deal with. Um, a lot of the room layouts are like this, where it's just, I've noticed that a lot of the room layouts are like this. Um, where it's, you know, a room. Hallway, one hallway, room, one hallway, room. Where it's just a lineup of rooms like that. And you'll start off on one end and the stairs are at the other end. Um, I don't know if it it generates like that on purpose, but I've noticed it a lot uh, in this part of the dungeon, Sky Tower Summit. So, hmm. It would make sense because it's like a gauntlet floor of sorts. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely tense. Things are a lot more slower paced. Um, just because of the room layouts. And, you know, with the song, and you see all these strong enemies coming by. Oh, this... Okay, yeah. This layout's also pretty common, where it's just a ton of rooms and hallways just everywhere. Um, and it's annoying to deal with. Because there's just... There's so many rooms to go to and check. And, you know, if you're not exactly lucky like I am and you go to every room and it's in the stairs or in the second to last or the last room that you check and it's, uh. so judging by this floor layout there should be about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rooms which is quite a lot we got pretty lucky there finding that one but uh, Claydol isn't too bad to deal with either Um, but you notice that we're getting a lot of those, really. There's no lower evolu- well, there's no lower form of evolution Pokemon here. Uh, only- only the- the high level, high tier, uh, Pokemon that are difficult. So I'm actually pretty glad that Henry didn't go for that Aerodactyl there. Um, because then it would wake up, and we'd have to deal with it, <laughs> because I'm- and he'd lose- 2 PP. So. Um. These Metagross. Uh, not too bad. Okay. Yeah, Metagross is sort of just. Doesn't really hit super hard, but certainly has a lot of health, or high defense at least. And special defense. And, unfortunately, Henry goes for the Aerodactyl on the way back. We, at this point, we don't need the experience. Um, unless you want some more experience uh, for the beginning of the after game. But even then, I'm pretty sure you have to grind. You might not have to. I've never done, I've never even touched the after game dungeons, so I'm not sure how difficult they are. But I would assume more difficult than this.
So here's another one of those. This is the last, this is the last floor of the game. And it's this, it's, this is like the ultimate floor layout, I find. Where it's just, there's rooms everywhere, hallways everywhere. Very little items and all that. I'm actually pretty surprised. I remember, I thought I remember finding a monster house on this run through. I guess not. It's pretty lucky then. Because, yeah, I find that, you know, most of the times, not all, but quite a few times that I go through this dungeon, I find a monster house at least. In one of the attempts here, I actually found two in one run through, and I died to the second one, and I just thought, oh. So here, the full effect of this room, of this floor layout is <laughs> coming into view here, because it's like, oh god, there's a million rooms, which one do I go into? Not this one, there's a sleeping clay doll, which Henry woke up and thankfully managed to kill, but... And here it is, the last staircase. Am I gonna... yeah, I'm gonna use a max elixir. <laughs> there's no reason not to at this stage because of how many we have. And an apple, I guess. Max elixir time. I accidentally gave that to Henry, I guess. Now that I get in the special band back. Or I give him the scope lens. Interesting, okay. Um, makes it so he was more likely to get critical hits. Uh, so I guess that's something. And I give myself the special band because we don't exactly need the x-ray specs going into a boss fight. That was super useful throughout this dungeon, but I uh, kind of wish I had them earlier. <laughs>